Hey everyone, this is BW Roses. And I thought I'd just show you my futon, my new futon that just came, you know, uh, yesterday. Uh, here's the ironic thing about it, though. When I got this futon, I ordered it on Friday, which was a week from this, a week ago this past Friday. Now, here's the thing. I thought I'd get it this past Monday. Now, I, I guess I misunderstood or something. I really don't know. But what I did is I thought I was going to get it this Monday, or this past Monday. I find out that, yes, yeah, it's in there. It's there at the store, but he's going to deliver it either Wednesday or Thursday. Okay, so here's the deal. Wednesday comes around, he delivers it. Delivers it. But you think, well, wait a minute. I paid an X amount of dollars for this. You know, let's just say it's a real pricey. I'm not going to say the real price. You just have to guess. You just think, okay, I paid a real price, you think, you know, t price for this. And you think they at least have the courtesy to take it out of the box at the store and then dr help bring it into, and as they deliver it, to help bring it into the house, into the room. Am I right? No. Here's what they do instead. Here's what the guy does instead. I don't know if it's because he had an attitude that day or what. But he takes this and he goes over here to our hallway. He comes over here to our hallway, and he has me carrying it. Not well, I'm carrying one side, he's carrying the other. And we drop it here. And instead of probably getting a knife out and opening it for us and bringing it in there for us at least, he instead leaves it there, and me and my mom are the ones that have to open it, open the box, take it out of the box, slide it, carry it into the room here, and, the, and, well, set it up. And after we set it up, everything's fine. Everything's cool. But then we got a mess that we got to clean up in this area, which is full of box, which is full of boxes we got to cut down. Foam, styrofoam. Well, you get it. You've probably been in this kind of predicament yourself. Well, you've had this happen to you. Well, you've had, basically, well, you, let, me, let me just put it to you like this. We had part of the box here and part of the box here. We had to tear it all up. And it filled up our garbage can, our recycle bin, well, and you name it. It just filled up everything. But all in all, we finally got it all settled in and done. But, that's mainly... What occurred? Now I ask you: If you had been put in the same predicament I was put in, or me and my parent, me and my family were put in, wouldn't you do something about it? Wouldn't you probably report them or say something? I mean, what would you do if you were in our predicament? I ask you that. But then again, I don't know if you've ever were in this kind of predicament. Now the only other new thing we got around here is this oscillating fan, which we got at true value, not a bad price. But that's all I could say about it. Oh, by the way, I do have one question as far as it goes with this computer here. Now, I don't know how many of you have the AVG uh, antivirus uh, uh, program or something like that. But I recently downloaded McPhee. That seems to be a little bit better. I'm not really sure. But I ask you, how do you get rid of the antivirus program, especially when it's now antivirus 2008 and it sometimes interrupts you? How do you get rid of it? I ask you that question. But that's all I can say and ask, and I'll talk to you all later. This is B.W. Roses, signing off.